If you have a WordPress blog, a business website, or maybe an affiliate website, then I'm sure you understand the importance of Facebook advertisement for online marketing. The base and the core of Facebook advertisement is Facebook Pixel. The more information you collect from your WordPress website using this Facebook Pixel, the better ad targeting and the better ad results you will get from your Facebook ads. So in this video, I will show you how you can collect data effectively from your WordPress website onto your Facebook Pixel with the help of plus add-ons for Elementor. So we will be collecting data from various events and the actions that your visitors perform on your WordPress website and we will record all that in a Facebook Pixel so that in future you can create better targeted Facebook ads. So if that sounds interesting, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Posi Myth. And if you want to learn more about such amazing features of plus add-ons for Elementor, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So here we are in our WordPress backend. And if we go in the plugin section, here we have the plus add-ons for Elementor free as well as the pro version. And once we install and set up the plugin, we will go to plus settings. And here we need to go to plus widgets and we will search for event. And this is the event tracker widget, which we will be using to track all the data for our Facebook pixel. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of plus add-ons for Elementor. So make sure you install the pro version of this plugin. And once you turn on this widget, make sure you click on save. And after that, we need to go to extra options. And here we have an option to enter Facebook pixel ID. So here in my Facebook business account, I have this new pixel created and this is the pixel ID. So that's the same Facebook ID we will be using here. So this is the easiest way to implement the Facebook pixel code on your WordPress website. Now, if in case you are using any other plugin where you have mentioned your Facebook pixel, or if you have manually inserted the Facebook pixel code on your WordPress site, then you don't have to mention the Facebook pixel ID here. But if you have not, then this is the easiest way to add the Facebook pixel ID code on your WordPress website. And once you are done, once again, we will click on save. And now we are ready to go. Now let's say we have an affiliate website and this is the book we are trying to promote with this landing page. And here we have the book image and here we have some catchy headline and the buy on Amazon button. So if people click on this button, they can go to Amazon and buy the book. Now as an affiliate website owner, I'm sure you want to know how many people click on this button here so that you can train the Facebook pixel and then create future advertisement depending upon that data. So let's go ahead and edit this page in Elementor and see how we can implement the tracking on this button. So here we are in the Elementor editor. So this is the TP button widget. So you can either use the plus add-ons button or the native Elementor button. And here, if we click on this button, we have an option for link where we can mention our affiliate link and you can mention the text you want to show on the button. And now to implement the tracking of clicks on this button, we need to go to advance. And here at the very bottom, we have an option for plus extras. We have two options, Facebook Pixel as well as Google Analytics. So we have already covered how to use Google Analytics to track how many people clicked on this button. So you can watch that video. The link is in the i button above and the video description below. And in this video, we will only concentrate on Facebook Pixel. So now we will turn on this Facebook Pixel option. And below that, we have event types and below that we have the event value. So we need to fill up these two details. So for Facebook, we have predefined events that we need to choose from. So for example, if this button is an add to cart button from your WooCommerce and you are selling your product, then you can easily select add to cart event type here. So once you choose that, you can easily track the clicks on your add to cart WooCommerce button. 
But in this case, we are only tracking the clicks on this button, which is taking the visitor to the affiliate site. So instead of add to cart, we will choose custom and the event value. We will call it affiliate book link. And once that is done, let's go ahead and click on publish and let's refresh the front end. Now, in order to know if our Facebook pixel is loading perfectly on our page and collecting the data, we need to install a Chrome extension. And this is the one we need to install. It's called Facebook Pixel Helper. It's a free Chrome extension. You can easily install it on your Chrome browser. And if you come back here on this page, you can see that this icon shows up as the Facebook Pixel Helper. And if we open that, you can see that this is the name of our pixel. And that's the name we have given it in the Facebook backend. So it means our Facebook pixel is working fine on this page. So now if we click on this button, it opens up the Amazon website or any other affiliate link that you mentioned. And now if we go on this Facebook pixel helper, we can see that our event affiliate book link is mentioned here. It means it is successfully capturing the click event of this button. And if we go back in our Facebook advertisement, let's refresh this page. Here we can see the same event label affiliate book link. Now let's say you are selling this book on your WooCommerce store and you want to provide a free sample to your visitors. And for that, we have added this download free sample button. And I'm sure you want to track how many people click on this button to download the free PDF. And we want to store this data in our Facebook pixel. So once again, let's go ahead and edit this page in Elementor. We go to this button and here we have mentioned the text for the button. And in the link, we have given the PDF file link. Now, once again, we will go to advanced. And we'll scroll down to the very bottom plus extra events tracker. And here again, we will enable the Facebook pixel tracking. So to track the click of this download button, we can either choose the custom event type or we can choose maybe start trial option. And once we select that, let's go ahead and update this page. And let's refresh this front end. And now if we scroll down, and let's click on this download free sample. This is the PDF file, which might open up in the new tab or maybe download on your computer. And now if we open the Facebook pixel helper here, we can see that the Facebook pixel is tracking the event start trial. And once again, if we come back in our Facebook ad manager, let's refresh this here. We can see that the pixel is collecting the data for start trial event type. Now, let's say you have a lead form where you want to collect your visitors information. And for that, you want to track how many people filled up that lead form. So once again, we can track that using the event tracker. So we come back in the Elementor editor. And for this example, we are using the native Elementor form. And you can add this event tracker on any form which is available with Elementor. So here we have the simple form with the name, email and message. And if we go again in the advanced tab and at the very bottom, we have plus extras events tracker and we again enable the Facebook pixel. And this time we can choose event type as lead. So whenever someone fill up this form, the event type lead is captured in the Facebook pixel. So let's update this and let's refresh this page. So we have just filled up some sample details here. Let's click on send. So we have successfully filled the form. And if we again go in the Facebook pixel helper, we can see that the lead event type is captured in our Facebook pixel. And if we refresh our Facebook ad manager, here we see we have a new entry for lead. So this is how you can track all the lead forms on your website and capture the data in your Facebook pixel. Now let's consider another case where we are back on the same lead page and here we have a email subscription box. So here we are using MailChimp as an example. 
So we are using the MailChimp widget from the plus add-ons itself. Now in order to use the MailChimp widget, you need to make sure that you enter the credentials of MailChimp in the plus add-ons setting. So here in the WordPress backend, we go to the plus settings and in the extra options, we have the MailChimp API key as well as MailChimp list ID. So we need to mention both of these details in order to make the MailChimp widget work. And after that, if we go in the plus widgets and if we search for MailChimp, this is the widget we need to use. So make sure you turn this on and then click on save. So with that, we are ready to use the MailChimp widget here. And in order to add the event tracker on this widget, we again click on this and then go to advance and again scroll down to the very bottom. We choose the Facebook pixel option. So this time we can use subscribe as the event type. Let's click on update and let's open the page in the front end. So if we scroll at the very bottom, here is our subscription form. So here we have entered a sample email address. Let's go ahead and click on subscribe. So now we have successfully subscribed to the mailing list. And if we come back in our Facebook ad manager, here we can see the subscribe event successfully created. So this is how easy it is to implement Facebook tracking on your WordPress website. And with the help of event tracker from the plus add-ons for Elementor, you can easily capture various events. And with that, you will be able to know how your visitors are interacting with your WordPress website. And you can store all that information in your Facebook pixel, which you can use in future for creating better Facebook ads. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to learn more about such amazing features of plus add-ons for Elementor, then subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.